so welcome or welcome back and in today's video i'm just gonna make a greenhouse but it's not gonna be a greenhouse it's gonna be a house instead so pretty much a house that looks like a greenhouse i already tried to film this once and it just it didn't turn out the way i wanted it to so we're doing it again okay so first off inspo because I'm not going in blind, okay? So, just ignore all of this gardening, honestly. This, this is, yeah, this is the whole point of this. So, it's a greenhouse. Like, there's, there's not much else to say. But with this picture specifically, I have, like, a vision, okay? So this, this first floor, like, whatever, it's gonna be the same first floor of a house, like, whatever. But this part, this part, I'm just gonna make, like, a little loft and it'll probably have a bed maybe a desk and i feel like this is gonna be so perfect because of let's see where is it this furniture like are you kidding are you kidding this this gives the same vibes as the inspo pictures just just wait okay so yeah that's like the exterior inspo i'm gonna have a lot of gardening and kind of just drown the house in it so we might need a part two to this video, I'm really not sure, but there'll probably be two parts. One will be exterior and one will be interior, hopefully. But I'm just gonna show you like all the inspo anyway, so it kind of makes sense, you know? So this is like the inspo for the color scheme, I guess. I kind of wanted like the base, like the counters and the windows and everything to be very neutral, but I want everything else to be like very colorful. And kind of like a cottage core vibe i feel like yeah this picture i feel like this is giving cottage core so yeah we're gonna run off of that um this i only have because i want a picket fence yeah i i haven't planned much out but i do know that i want a picket fence with a ton of flowers so yeah i have priorities um and this this i'm so adamant about this one so I already kind of planned out how I want to do the upstairs because you guys do not want to watch me wing that. Like, you guys do not want to watch me do that. So I kind of have a rough idea of where I'm going to put this and I'm really hoping it works out. So yeah, okay, so let's just get started. Yeah, that's gonna be, this is gonna be a little room. And then this, this part and this part, they're both gonna be rooms, but I'm gonna make like a vaulted like ceiling. Like it's gonna be like an A, I guess. I'll try to edit that in or like show a picture or whatever of what I'm trying to do so you guys have an idea. But maybe we should just get started with that, you know? We'll do the hardest thing first. You just gotta adjust it a little bit. Stop, that adjustment is gonna be the thing that like throws it off in the end. Like it's, yeah, just, just watch. Like I literally promise you that just adjusting that is gonna make this like all lopsided. I swear, it's like, it's so weird to build and not listen to music at the same time because I don't know about you guys, but I literally, I listen to music when I'm doing everything, like literally everything, especially building. Oh my god, look, look, it's, it's already off-center because I made those adjustments, I swear, I told you guys. Wow, okay. Um, but yeah. I always listen to music or listen to like a YouTube video in the background. So this is, 
this is difficult for me, honestly. <laughs> this is really hard. Um, do you guys listen to music? Like, is that just me? Like, I know I have, um, oh wow, there's people. I have my volume, like, so low, like, all the time. I don't think I play any Roblox game with volume, like, at all. Let alone, like, Bloxburg, like, I don't know. Okay, it kind of clips out, but that's, that's inevitable, you know? That's gonna happen. It's okay. The only thing, I feel like that just looks so boring, you know? Like, that just, that looks so boring. Oh my god, but guys, Oyster and Hurricane Gray, they are like the best combo. They go together so well, and I'm just not taking criticism. So, yeah, okay. Maybe we could add like some details to it though, with these, with the beams. Um, oh my god, no. <laughs> I definitely did it wrong because this is off centered, it's not in the middle. So I think I'm just gonna duplicate this on this side and I'll be back. So now that we've done that, wow, that took a lot longer than I thought it was going to. Let's do the easy part of just putting pillars on every corner. So yeah. Oh my god, wait, what is like your favorite design style? And what I mean by that is like, hmm. Do you like boho houses or like modern contemporary houses? Do you like cottage core houses? Like that kind of thing. You should like totally tell me in the comments because I'm trying to try out different house styles. You can probably tell based on my last video that was like completely different. And <laughs> people were so scared that I was going to switch to realistic builds, which I promise I'm not. And oh my god, I'm not switching to commentary either. Like, it's just, it's just gonna be a sometimes thing, I think. So maybe we should just add all the windows, you know? Like really get the greenhouse vibes going. Okay guys, so I just added like all the windows, but I ran into an issue. Like, this is a greenhouse and they, they're like full of windows, right? But like, I don't want to put a ton of windows in the bathroom, you know? Like, I guess I could, but put like, blinds on them? I feel like I have to do that though. I gotta commit. Okay, so it's definitely, it's coming together, I think. Like, I think it looks really good. But this part, like, this needs like, maybe like, a roof. I think it needs a roof. Yeah, let's do a roof, let's do a roof. So, let's... Oh my god, these pillars? I think the last time I used these pillars was when I was building like my most popular video, like the spring mansion, spring floral mansion, I think that's what I called it. I literally, I cannot remember what I named my pills and people will say like, oh my god, I built your like whatever, but it's like I have to literally look up what that house was because I do not remember. <laughs> oh wait, that looks so much better. That looks so much better. Wait. <laughs> oh my god, that looks so good. Okay. Oh my, I should make little stairs, like, going up this roof, leading to a little garden. I'm doing that. I'm so doing that. Okay. Okay, guys, so I just finished adding all of the steps, and I kind of doubled them up, because I feel like I have this idea where I can make them kind of, like, two different colors. So I'll make, like, the top portion... Maybe that wood, and then I'll still do wood, but I'll make it like a lighter color. So I feel like that'd be, that, that's some nice detail. And I love adding detail to everything, so. This is gonna be a little dangerous, because I don't really want to add a fence, because I feel like that wouldn't look good, you know? Oh my god, should I add orange to the color scheme? Maybe I should make a color scheme. No, no. I'm just gonna wing it and it's gonna be super cute. I feel like there's not gonna be a color scheme. I always, I always screw up the color scheme 
when I do flowers because I just I make them all like rainbow colors and then it's like well what colors am I going to use for the inside if I just use like every single color on this palette so I think I'm going to have like a little gate here which like why because the fence literally stops there but you know it's it's for aesthetic reasons honestly I feel like this is just too many colors now you know like maybe just no blue just no blue I keep checking to make sure that it's still recording because the amount of times that I've like recorded an entire speed build and then at the last second realized that I didn't record the whole thing and speed builds like they literally take like hours <laughs> and then you realize like wow I didn't record any of that so I have to do it all over again. I feel like the last time that I put this many plants into a build was like i don't know it's been years <laughs> literally been years it kind of reminds me of my flower shop that i did so i did put like kind of a greenhouse area on the right hand side of that and i really i really liked it that was like the best part of that build to be honest if you guys want me to do like more commentary videos, I'll definitely do them because they are, they're kind of fun to make. I mean, I hope they're fun to make. <laughs> I feel like I might regret saying that when I have to edit this because I have not edited anything like in that kind of way, I guess. Like editing speed builds, it's... It's not really the editing the speed builds that takes the time, it's the actually recording the speed builds. So I think it's kind of going to be more the opposite with this. Oh my god, wait. <laughs> that looks so cute. Okay. And I- wait, you can move archway? They added fairy lights though. What's the difference? Oh. Whoa! I can like- so I can like flip them. Oh wait, that's kind of cool. Oh, that's kind of cool though. I don't know how that would like work though, because if I want it- It's like a U instead of like a V shape, you know? It doesn't have like a point. Let's just see how it would look. Okay, I mean, actually, maybe it's cute. Is it cute? I think it's cute, actually. If I do like red, I've been like obsessed with doing like pink lights lately. I'm gonna get rid of these now because I was gonna make a like a sky roof thing, skylight roof thing but I feel like it would look kind of weird now if I did it. Maybe it wouldn't. Maybe it wouldn't. Wait. That's kind of cute. Okay, I'll keep it. I think this is pretty much all I'm gonna do for at least this part. And then I guess in the next part, I'll do the interior. So yeah definitely watch out for that i think it's pretty cute um little gate yeah okay so yeah i'll definitely finish this in another video and let me know what you think of it and if you have any video suggestions for the future please comment them so i can hopefully write them down and do them at some point because i do try to do a lot of your guys's suggestions so yeah thank you for watching and bye